next day now, the 20th, and the uh, adjusting up slightly of the float voltage seems to have uh, done the trick. Um, battery charged up this morning, um, doing over 50 amps. Um, put two kilowatts, two and a half, something like two and a half kilowatt hours into the battery in um, just over a couple of hours, not even that, most of it between 9 and 10 o'clock when the sun came round. Um, amazing capability for absorbing energy. Um, and now um, it sits at its float voltage of uh, 26.9. Um, the water heater is running upstairs, so the uh, inverter's um, drawing most of its power from the charge controller, 630 watts there. Uh, another 4.8 amps from the small charger and the battery is um, almost floating um, they don't like being kept on a float charge uh, but you can see here it's erring on the side of 0 to minus 1 amp so discharging very slowly um, and uh, effectively floating but without uh, the risk of putting too much power into the cells um, so it's discharging ever so slightly but at that rate it would take uh, 400 hours to uh, deplete its reserve um, so on a daily cycle there's no problem there um, the maker of the cell log um, has uh, done some testing and discovered the same problem now with the um, alarm port so they're investigating a firmware update or something uh, this week hopefully they claim um, so we'll see if we can get this uh, alarm to work um, to be the low voltage disconnect for my inverter over there um, I've managed to dig out a relay from my spares box that has a 24 volt coil uh, which should be ideal for um, providing the isolated enable signal to the uh, inverters remote port. Here's the relay I'm going to use. I've just desoldered it out of a old um, plug-in digital timer um, thing that you get for the mains. Uh, just an ordinary one of those plug-in digital timers um, and uh, it has usefully a 24 volt coil relay um, that will switch up to 16 amps um, AC or DC um, so that's ideal oh. and here's the finished article this is the interface to the inverter um, what you have here is a battery lead so it goes to the pack positive and negative um, and then this connector goes to the alarm output the open collector output on the cell log uh, and then the blue connector here is the relay output. Um, it's normally open, so when the um, normally closed output of the alarm is on, um, the green LED here will light up and that will signal that it's uh, an enable signal for the inverter. Um, and then if the alarm is triggered, um, this lights and the relay turn off uh, and that will disable the inverter shutting down the load. I've taken a precaution of sticking a uh, 125 milliamp fuse in the circuit uh, because the the relay only draws um, 20 milliamps um, and the LED like another five um, so there's a bit of protection in the circuit as well. I also put a diode in there um, in there in series with the fuse just for reverse polarity so that um, if you wire up the battery cable wrong way round um, it won't um, smoke this other diode here which is used to um, stop the back EMF from the relay coil when it de-energizes. Um, the open collector output on the cell log needs that for protection um, otherwise the back EMF from the coil would blow up the transistor. So now all I need is uh, updated software for the cell log um, to make the alarm port work properly. 
I've had a uh, message on the forum and a private message from Junsi, um, the representative of the manufacturer, and they're, apparently they're working on a firmware update or something um, for the cell log, um, having looked at my previous videos and replicated the same problem themselves. That's it for now. And here's the new interface box sitting in its spaghetti on top of the bank. The cell log is just um, blue tacked to the top um, and the uh, fragile small alarm cable just goes out and then through a hole in the top of the box. Um, that should make it secure enough. Um, I rigged up inside um, a little LED with the relay as well um, and the translucent box means that you can see it working um, without having to drill any holes or make anything special. Um, all we need now is to uh, make the alarm software work properly. Received a new firmware version 2.09 um, and it now triggers the alarm uh, seemingly okay uh, once the uh, voltage is um, below the set point um, by more than 0 0.01 volts um, the beeper seems to stay on continuously um, and the switched alarm output also um, stays on continuously now but we still have a problem around this set point so here it's set for 26.50 um, pack voltage and um, the battery is just at that point it's at 26.50 26.49 um, and we can still see the um, alarm output cycling on and off quite a bit um, in this transition phase um, which is uh, not ideal um, if there was some hysteresis um, in the alarm set point um, then uh, this wouldn't happen um, but at least now the steady state alarm uh, seems to be uh, working now at least for um, the low condition I'll have to test it a bit more and the original tests I did were with one cell and this is now with the whole eight cell stack um, so some more testing but um, at least uh, we're moving in the right direction